This lesson is going to be about productivity, both primary productivity and secondary productivity, gross productivity and net productivity. In our dead zone case study, you learned about primary productivity and it's akin to photosynthesis, but more specifically, it's going to be the rate of photosynthesis. And this can be measured in a variety of ways. Um, the rate of photosynthesis or growth. Who does it? Primary productivity is only done by plants. Secondary productivity um, is for consumers. So this is, I guess, also we'd include algae in there and anything else that um, is an autotroph. Why will it vary? Think about what things affect photosynthesis. If we have changes in light, if we have changes in temperature, we can change the rate of, of photosynthesis. And if we change the amount of inputs we have, so like CO2, we can also change the rate of photosynthesis. Um, you're also gonna hear about gross primary productivity and net primary productivity. And we can differentiate between net and gross if we compare a plant in the light and in the dark. So if we have a plant, for example, in the dark, a plant in the dark is gonna respirate only. A plant in the light will photosynthesize and respire. So if we were trying to make comparisons here to figure out how much photosynthesis is going on is difficult because you can't have a plant just photosynthesize it's always gonna be undergoing respiration too. However, if we make an, a comparison between this one and this one, the difference between them will tell us how much photosynthesis was going on. So we say the net productivity is when we have photosynthesis and respiration going on. So when something is in the light, that will give us the net pr primary productivity. For respiration only, that's gonna be the one that's in the dark. And this will be cleared up in some later videos, but gross primary productivity is something we're gonna calculate from the others. There's two ways to do this based on whether it is aquatic, aquatic or not. Um, if it's aquatic, we tend to look at dissolved oxygen. And so a plant, this container here that's in the light, we would expect we're gonna have an increase in oxygen over the course of time if there's more photosynth photosynthesis than respiration. In the one that's in the dark, we're gonna have a decrease in oxygen over the course of time. You would be given data about the starting value and the later values and asked to be asked to conclude what the net primary productivity is, what the respiration is, and what the gross primary productivity is. If it's a terrestrial plant, it's gonna be done somewhat differently. There's some sort of baseline test. And then the one that's uncovered is in the light. And so if it's in the light, it's gonna do both. The one that's covered and kept from light and in the dark is gonna be respiration. And then the comparison between them is, will give us the gross. Now you can't weigh the grass in the beginning and weigh the grass at the end because of the fact that we tend to do dry biomass, which means you have to completely dry it out after you wash off all the dirt, et cetera. Well, if you do that to a plant, it's dead. So what they generally do is take three equal patches, assume they're all the same to start, use one of them to get the dry starting mass, test the other two over the course of time, then dry them out and weigh them. So um, the one that's used in the very beginning is used as the baseline, and then we'll have two others that are compared to it. You're gonna take a look now at a couple of practice problems. Um, I'm gonna give you the link to the problem and the link to the video of me solving it. 